like you said, if you didn't do anything wrong, it's just like, oh, we were going for a different feel or like whatever, you know? Um, a lot of times I feel like it's that as well. So you gotta take all corrections with like a little bit of a grain of salt. Um, and we're just trying to make these feel a little more golden. So it turns out, by the way, I'm really bad at uh, Street Fighter. Um, I love it. I like playing it, but oh god, it is, it is so bad. I was actually, so I got this cab that I had drunk and purchased, and then I was going to um, start to uh, build a second cab, uh, and I was going to put a um, either a PC or an Xbox in it and uh, wire it up to the net so that you like always had a second player. You could always play against the computer. Well, I mean you can play against the computer now, but you could play virtually on a, on a cabinet with people around the world. But then I played with people around the world and it turns out I don't actually want that um, experience. That I, what I'd rather have is uh, not playing it at all <laughs> than, play, than playing with people around the world. Um, so Street Fighter Five to do Hadouken. Yeah, the thing that I can't do are the um, like the half circles um, and a lot of the stuff. Uh, like, Guile, too. Guile's moves are, like, a complete fucking mystery to me. Like, I can do, I can do the Dukin, like, pretty consistently. But, um... Uh, Street Fighter 4? Yeah. Um, at any rate, I ended up with a... The cab. So, Capcom PlayStation 2 games have, uh... This thing, this, like, security measure in place. <laughs> Uh, well, when people when people replace the battery in it, they call it phoenixing, or when they hack it so that it's not, um, you know, so that it's not. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So that this system is not in place, it's called phoenixing the board. Um, by the way, I've dropped like 3.5 percent frames. I hope that this VOD is like usable. Uh, I hope that it's not like stuttery and crazy. Uh, hopefully it will be. Oops. Um, so I ended up selling the board that was in there, which was uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 1. Um, and then I had, I had a second board um, that somebody gave me after they found out that I had this thing. Uh, it was a Dungeons and Dragons Shadows Over Mysteria. Um, or Mister, I don't, I don't remember what the exact title is. Um, one of the Dungeons and Dragons games. Uh, and I replaced both those things because they have like a battery in them. And if the battery goes, then it automatically like fries the board. Uh, charge moves are kind of hard, hard to understand because there's a release window. It's kind of twitchy depending on what game you play. Yeah, man. Um, there's real, real skill to uh, figuring out uh, exactly the timing and everything. Um, so I realized that, like, okay, so you pull the battery out of the board and you go to replace the battery and you have something like a minute and a half or something like that, or like 30 seconds, I can't remember, to replace the battery on the board. Otherwise the board fries um, and is useless. And the thing is, is like, it's not like a regular changing battery, like, oh, we're gonna change the battery in our, even our cell phone. Like changing the battery in your cell phone, you pop the back off, put the new battery in, you're done. Um, it's like soldered in. So you have to like unsolder it, take the new battery, resolder it. Or at least like put the connection back. Um, so it's a little it's a little bit skill intensive. Um, at least the boards that I had were. 
So I was like, all right, let's get these things out of here. And I got like a Phoenix board with like an 18 and one. Um, and in that 18 and one was not only a uh, crap load of Street Fighters, but uh, uh, Darkstalkers was in there. Um, and uh, the, the, but out of the fighters was like, you know, once, once I realized I was terrible at fighters and I, I was like, it was driving me crazy, I started playing more uh, Giga Wing, which is dope. Uh, I love that game. And then I started playing more, um, there's an alien versus predator brawler that's like totally fucking awesome. Uh, and there's a, uh, uh, the D and D brawlers are really great in it too, and it, it kind of like woke up my love for just like a simple good brawler. Um, it is five o'clock, so we're just gonna put in like a little more detail into into these um, robes, just a little bit, into the fabric, um, just kind of like giving them better shape. The Alien vs. Predator one is great. Yeah, dude. It is so good. It's on your Tumblr. Um, you don't think it's on your Twitter. I can post a link whenever you want to take a look to compare. You should... Uh, why don't you put it on your... What's your What's your Tumblr handle, Will? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, first of all, yeah. Bullet Hell games are real, real fun. The Alien vs. Predator game is real fun. Yeah. I, I love it. Um, you're super jealous. Yeah. Drunk me picked out a good thing. It was a pain in the ass to get, but, but he did all right. Um, I actually, I have replacement. Uh, so the cab itself was bought from a dealer who was doing uh, uh, kind of like refurbs, these, these like cab refurbs. So it's like kind of like cobbled together from a bunch of other pieces. Um, and because of that, it like, it has, uh, uh, I don't know if I can 1cc uh, keep going. That's, a, that's tough. It gets really hard at the end. Uh, the, because of that, like half of the buttons on the inside are like quick connect the buttons in the stick are like quick connects that you can just like slip on or slip off the the button contact and you know put a new button in no problem and then the other half are like hard soldered on um so you need a little bit of skill to like not only to like and there's no slack for the cables like all of the cables it's like they have enough wiring to get you there and that's it there's no extra room um so uh yeah i i ordered some more buttons and stuff but uh, i haven't had the time to like really go in and do the work on, on it maybe one of these days on the weekend we'll do we'll do an arcade maintenance stream <laughs> uh good night uh will jones okay so will jones put the He's just willjonesart.tumblr.com. Um, I'm going to repost it because I think it might have deleted your link. There you go. Um, yeah, so uh, I think one of these days we'll do a stream of like arcade maintenance, which could be kind of fun because I've been wanting to get into that stuff and uh, I'm a pretty, I'm pretty terrible at soldering. So it'll be, it'll be a fun stream. <laughs> Because uh, it might it might go horribly wrong, and I think that'll that'll make for kind of kind of a fun stream. Let's kind of like punch up, and bring up some of the blues a little bit more. Uh, the idea that I have for doing um, the second Chun Li that we're going to do is very is like radically different than this, so I'm I'm actually really excited to to do that. Um, 
we're going to actually, instead of lightening her shoulder, we're going to actually darken it back here because um, maybe that's a little too much. Um, because I kind of want it to like feel like it's more in the back than the front. Um, like she's kind of stepping into the light. So we'll, oh my god. I don't know if you guys just saw that. The, the, the light flickered for a second. I thought we were going to have a uh, Florida power outage. Wouldn't that be some shit? So I think we're close to done. Let's do some let's do some background work, and then we're gonna do um, some slight tweaks. Uh, just some like special. Uh, going pretty stuff. good, Jason. How you doing? Uh, by the way, uh, Joel Bartlett picked this for uh, a community day, like a while back, and um, you can pick one if you're if you're a sub on my channel here and if you have Amazon Prime you can link it to your Twitch account and you can actually sub for a month uh, um, you know you only got to be you don't have to be necessarily subbed while you uh, you have to be subbed to like throw something into the channel on the discord but you don't necessarily have to be subbed uh, when we work on it so if you sub you put put in your your Amazon Prime Twitch Prime link, sub to the channel. You can suggest art in the in the chat, and, and we'll do it up. So um, yeah, if you're just sitting on an Amazon Prime account and you have not linked it to your Twitch, you can you can do that. And people on YouTube, you do the same thing. Sub, and then either ping me on Twitter or uh, and be like, hey, I subbed, and you know, like I don't want to set up a Discord, but like, you know, I want you to color this. Is is that something we can do? And, and, you know, we can work that out, uh, you know, and of course, though, join the Discord. I'm hanging out in there all the time. And if you have any questions about comics or anything like that, I'm available. Um, all right. So let's do uh, a little bit of the background. This flatting should be very yeah, we'll soon. Do a treat. What are you doing in here, bud? Go on. He's very confused. Well, hold on one second. He's trying to figure out, let's see. So, I don't know if you guys should actually be looking at that. <laughs> let's, because uh, there's some unannounced projects that are in there. <laughs> so let's let's walk away from, from that for a second. Um, I'm looking for like a cool uh, zip tone. It'll just be a second. I gotta find find one that fits well. All right, this one this one fits pretty well. So let's take this. Let's uh, drop it new layer. mask it off. So to mask it, we're just going to click the thing, click the little mask button here. Boom, masked off. And we want to unlink it, because if we unlink it, I'm pretty sure this is going to work. We can, oh, we're on the mask. If we're unlinked, we can move the thing around and kind of like figure it out. All right. So let's, uh, can we hide the mask? Fill the layer, undo the black. Let's actually 
threshold it so it's black and white. Let's do like a yellow and orange. Something like that. Um, it's actually kind of select everything. Why is it why is it doing that fuzz? Oh god, there's fuzz everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just kind of like like doing an abstract background. Um let's let's kind of play with color a little bit, see, see, see what it looks like. Oh, I kind of like that. Um, is that too, like, remember those things in the 80s where you, like, spin it and, and, and drop some ink and it splatters? I think maybe it looks too much like that. Uh, we could do something like this. Um, Yeah, the uh, details are pretty crazy. I'm going to have a hard time figuring out who's what here in the back with all the little equipment pieces, it looks like. So this kind of like, looks I don't like know a... who that stuff is right there, who that belongs to. Oh, yeah, they are all numbered. <laughs> well, those are like consecutive, I mean, and those like, are just the same number. Strange. We're just kind of like putting a toothy kind of like explosion behind there. Yeah. Um. Oh no, it picked up the the shine, the fucking uh, I went so long in this stream without swearing. And now I just dropped an F-bomb because the mask was wrong. It picked up the shines that were in, uh, in the gauntlets. Or bracelets or whatever they are. Alright, remask. Good evening, everyone. Alright. Um, this is okay. I'm not, like, thrilled by this background. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something. Got else. here just in time for some very exciting flatting. Just kind of trying to separate the characters here. I guess that's the thing right there. Did anybody that is watching actually pick this one? <laughs> I thought the other ones were more exciting. This one's kind of just guy standing around. Yeah. Please straighten that chat. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just like throwing a lot of, uh, I'm just shotgunning solutions at problems at this point. Um, maybe I'll get some free time to do the others soon. I just picked um, three pieces by guys I liked when I was a kid that I could find big scans of. And when I was a kid, yeah, like, okay. Art so Adams and Leonardi and Simonson were my favorites. Yeah, that's, that's exactly, exactly what we're doing. We're, we're just stacking, stacking zips, zips until it works. works. So, so like, part, part of the problem that we have with this is that now we're just getting like weird shapes. Like, like under the arm hit, around the head, like stuff that doesn't look that we're getting like tangents almost. Um, it's not like visually interesting. Um, I kind of just, I don't know, is it weird that I just kind of like the blank background? That's got to be weird, right? Like maybe just like this. Like, like the, the, the subtle, subtle suggestion, suggestion of, the, of the explosion. Crank up the saturation. Oh, now we're good. Yeah, 
this I like. Because we're not like. The problem that we were having was like so much of it was like pulling from the original Mitch. Oh, that's Nick Filardi. I'm watching his stream uh, while I'm coloring. Um, let's try what Matt Wilson does. Uh, he suggested that, that he was doing this a lot in um, modeling apparently, um, where he takes a multiply layer and we're going to take this blue and then just like toss it through this thing. Um, and then we're going to take a screen layer, or not. Kind of like put it there as a radial highlight. Um, we don't have to use that. Or you can just kind of change it. It's kind of weird. I tried to eliminate Nick by sending him a giant file, but he bounced back, so. I don't so know. By doing this, we kind of like made this stuff look a little lighter. So we kind of just pulled all the ones out of the face. That's kind of all we want to do. Maybe we'll just keep the, keep the drag on the bottom. Huh? What do you think? Yeah? We're in there. Yeah. I feel, I feel like this is, this is a good, good place for, for us. <laughs> and I feel <laughs> like we've ended up in a place where like I could hand this to Capcom and not be embarrassed. You know what I mean? Like, this is something that I feel like is up their ass. Actually, let's add a little bit of special effect. Whose pouches all, are whose? Really like so many pouches. It's like he got uh, bored when he was doing this part of the leg right here. This part of the thing. No, it doesn't look like the rest. Um, so we can kind of go in and to the spike. Same with you, you do the same thing. Whoops. Yeah. Maybe even a little clean the blow behind it. And yeah. <laughs> Wolverine's <laughs> carrying so there. much stuff. Pretty, 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 pretty decent. decent. Um, we are going to, uh, next stream, we're going to, next coloring stream, we're going to color this again, except I'm going to try a radically different approach. Um, something that I think is not welcoming for Capcom, but is something that I kind of want to try with it, um, just to see where it goes. <laughs> Uh, it's true. I don't know if we're going to end up with something that I actually want to like put on my Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that, but um, we're going to experiment at least. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, Nick's almost done with his stream, so we're going to sit here in silence and stuff. Like, get ready. Get ready for thrilling solution for time kind of thing. It's going to be interesting. Um, it, it might, might not even end up that way. way. I don't know. We're gonna, gonna, it's going to be wild. Uh, but, but for now, I think this is, this is pretty much done. I might tweak it a little bit um, after, you know, fresh eyes and all that. Uh, if you want to see, it's going to look a little weird through Twitch, but um, if you want to see, like, how she ended up uh, in, in real life, quote, quote, unquote, real life, uh, then you can follow me on uh, Twitter or Instagram, which is right up there. Right up there. Um, I'm Nick, Nick underscore Florida on Instagram, Nick Phil on, on Twitter, and uh, I'll be posting this and the second version together once it's all done. Um, and I think uh, I think we might play some, we might play some games this weekend. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, my uh, Beyonce's in laws are gonna be in town, or not her, my in laws, kind of, but not, we're not laws yet. I don't know. The specifics don't matter. The, the weekend's kind of like weird, but if, we, if, if I get some time on Sunday, we'll play some games. Color flatting's fun. <laughs> and then, uh, it can be kind of relaxing. 
uh, recolor, remaster of some 90s X-Men stuff uh, for, you know, the next, uh, next big thing. So hang on to your butts. Look out for that. Um, and I will see you next time. Thanks for coming by. Squad car. Okay, next time. Hi, B's house. I'm good. How are you? Let's go find all the white spots I want to make white. Man. I like that this is like the old school human torch because I think one of my weaknesses is coloring fire. But the way they colored him back in the day was pretty simple and flat, so I can probably handle it. Let's grab that. Put it here. Give him some white props. Fix my flying mistakes. What color are these X-Men things? Are they red? Those things? Fantastic Four, white, I think. I don't know. Oh, this is just for fun, not for work, not for a cover. I just, um, I don't know, I had some time. I have some friends visiting from out of town tonight, and they're going to get in pretty late. So I was just trying to kill some time. Uh, so I looked online for big scans of artists I like when I was a kid, and... I found cool things by Rick Leonardi and Mike Mignola and Art Adams. And I put it online for people to vote for which one I did, and this one won. So this is what I am goofing off on. I'm probably going to try to do, keep it as simple as possible, make it pretty graphic. Uh, I think that stuff works well with Mike's drawings. I think that yellow could be better.
that is black green or Strappy. Jim Lee likes straps, seams, and jackets. Alright. Yeah, I have been following Arthur on Instagram. It's cool because his um I think his Facebook got too full, like he couldn't take on any more followers, so he started trying to use Instagram and now he's posting a lot more art. So it's very cool that more people are getting to see that stuff. Cause it's amazing, like Arthur is getting better. But you know, it's like I always thought he was the best. He was like one of my favorites growing up and he's still getting better. Uh, Johnny Lighthands asked if I had ever colored Matteo Scalera's work and I have not. Um, Pretty sure I haven't. Yeah, I'd love to do a cover or something, but he seems pretty busy with all his creator own stuff. I feel like he's had a few colorists on that stuff. He's awesome. I love him. Mm -mm, I see some out of the line stuff. But you barely notice it when it's yellow. Hmm. Should I make the extra stuff match or should I make it gray? I don't know. Like, should I make yellow patches or all brown patches? <laughs> this stuff is hilarious. Okay, let's get Wolverine some of this on him. Is Wolverine alive in comics right now? Like they, I don't understand what Old Man Logan is. Is that Wolverine or is that a different character? Help me. Help me understand. Using this polygon oh, lasso. Because Mike Mignola makes everything real sharp and angular. I think this is an unpublished cover. I don't think it ever came out, so I don't know that it's ever been colored. 
I don't know if it made it that far before it got uh, either rejected or just not used for whatever reason. Be curious. Like maybe look online and see if anyone else has colored it after I'm done. See what they did and how much better it is than what I did. <laughs> I have a, a, an Arthur Adams commission that is um, Batgirl versus Clayface. And I've seen some colored versions of it online. And they are very bad. <laughs> it makes me sad. Uh, but I have never colored colored it myself. So I should take it off the wall and scan it and try to see if I can do a better job. Hey Mark, this is flatting. Glorious, glamorous, flatting. <laughs> the exciting world of flatting. Yeah, I don't usually do this myself. Um, I'll usually do covers because I can do them pretty quick. But pages I send out to people who flat for me, and they usually knock them out pretty quick. Like usually four to five pages a day. And then I come home from my regular job and I color them. I would not have time to do it on my own. So I really appreciate them. Wow. Really out of the lines. You still doing a lot of stuff with DC Mark? Oh, cool. I cannot keep up. Congrats on that. Uh, when do I have time to eat uh, insane hot dogs? Um, there's a lot of time during the weekend, usually. I don't really eat hot dogs all the time, but... I do put them online when I do. Mark is a very good anchor. He is in the window. Mark Deering there. Check his stuff out. Google search. Read his comics. Help him get them big fat royalty checks. Yeah, I have some friends driving down from Maryland tonight they're going to get in really late you know because they work today but um i'm going to try to give them the charlotte food tour i guess they'll probably want barbecue and jj's and whatever else i can find so check my instagram for pictures of junk food this weekend <laughs> Mm 
What color is that strap? Got to figure out what to do here. I'll make all these yellow. These are gloves, right? Is it is it a bracelet or a glove? Come on, 90s Marvel X-Men fans, help me out. disappearing on the thing's crotch but that's going to be dark blue soon but then that'll disappear I'm going to make it bright blue gosh coloring so hard you guys <laughs> it's funny when the first issue or Doc, Dr. Afra's first appearance came out. I have a friend that looks almost just like her, and I was like, and she also dresses up at shows and stuff. So I was like, please tell me you're dressing up as this new Star Wars character because you look exactly like her. And I think she did. Who penciled those issues of Black Panther, Mark? Yeah, no doubt. Oh, cool. Uh, but did you do Supergirl stuff with him? Collaborators are a blessing. All oh, right. Oh, cool. You're keeping busy. Be right back.
Hi, unbeatable. I have never colored Darwin Cook. No. Looks like I missed that chance. You mean like he always did his own stuff or um, Dave Stewart did it? You didn't miss anything. This is still flatting. <laughs> hmm. Gonna be flatting this forever. Just kind of bouncing around right now, trying not to get bored.
think I need to look up pictures of cable. Okay, let's let's talk about what we think are in these pat pouches. What's in these really long pouches? Yeah, I, I was thinking candy bars too, but I didn't know if that was because it was so close to Halloween and I'm like candy bar crazy or just disgusting, but yes, candy bars, the good stuff. I made candy bar ice cream for my family with Izzy's, my daughter's leftover candy. Came out pretty good. <laughs> Cyclops is lame though it's probably like granola bars and rice cakes the thing has the good stuff in his canisters these are cigar canisters they're not things to kill people with <laughs> Let's talk about Cyclops or ice cream. Uh, there's nothing to talk about, man. It's all gone. I do have... Uh, check this out. I do have these. Um, from Izzy's Trick or Treating. And I'm going to make ice cream like that. I'm going to make Reese's ice cream next. So you might be able to get some of that if you want to come over and have that.
think the thing has some sexy briefs on here. They're pretty, pretty high cut. <laughs> yes. Coloring stream was derailed by snack talk. But yeah, those that's I mean that's my stuff, is snacks. People need and love food. What is this thing? Seriously, what is that thing? What is this giant canister?
Does the thing have ears? Like, on the outside of his head. Does the thing have ears? That is a question that I have. What do you think? Too bright. Too dark. That's right. No. Um, Glenn asked, is that color palette your usual spectrum? Do you have dialed in palettes for Squirrel Girl and Gwen? I do not have um, palettes that I select from. I wing it almost every time. Um, sometimes if I have to match something from issue to issue so it looks good in trade, I will grab stuff from previous issues. Um, but I... Uh, I just pick colors as I go, and I do have preferences that I think is pretty obvious, like looking at my stuff, it's like um, there's very few pure colors. <laughs> I'll, I'll try, Coach. <laughs> um, please welcome Ramon Villalobos. Um, I don't like colors that are pure usually, um, like a, you know, primary colors like yellow and blue and red. <laughs> I, I needed I needed that encouragement, coach. Thank you. I really, I really want to color some Ramon art for real. So, if you send me uh, Mexican New Gods art for me to color, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for you. Let's do it. This gun has a belt. <laughs> Did you get some sweet Bud Light ads? That's what I have when I logged in. I was offended. Let's see, I made this little, I made this the other day, um, but I haven't used it yet. PlayStation. Yeah, this is, um, I think Twitch is like for video games, right? I'm like, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing on here. I don't play, I don't play games on my computer. My work, my computer is for work, man. It violates the sanctity of my workplace to play video games on here.
<laughs> I, do, I do not get any money. I think I get to use this for free. I think that is the benefit of the ads. I get to stream for free. It's fair enough. I didn't do anything to earn this. It's like two things I suck at coloring are uh, guns and fire. And that's pretty much all this is. Sweet. Two of the many. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That that was not me. That was my wife. She's awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the warmth of autumn. Ramon, man, I'm glad you asked about my sneakers because I just got my, my new ones. Let me pull them up for you. For real, though, I shouldn't be coloring in sneakers. I should take these off because I'm in the house. But they're so sweet. So sweet. I made them on the Nike ID. Nike ID needs to pay me. Stream presented by Nike ID. I would like to do that. I'm going to send this to them. Be like, yo, I just plugged y'all. Hook me up. So the only thing I like better than coloring is making sneakers on Nike ID. Color stuff this cable with, I don't know. Help me out, help me out cable people. What color should his chest be? What should be his main color? You can hang out. It's not it's not sponsored by anyone. I did get them. I did get them, Glenn. I got in a little bit of trouble with 
with Mama too. When, when uh, I opened the package and Jay was like, "You got those?" I was like, "Yep, yep, I got them." Help me out, people. What color should this? What cables like main color? Does he have a color that is associated with him? Like a lighter blue than this. What's Josh Brolin wearing in the movie? Probably all gray stuff, right? <laughs> Is good. All right. The less colors, the better, if you ask me. It's like name that tune. Like I can color that image in five colors. I can color that image in three colors. Color that in. What's the next man? What secret stuff are you working on, Ramon? You've been you've been not sharing stuff. That means you're working on something secret. What is it? Give 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 the viewers of the stream a scoop. Let us know what to look out for. That's no good.
What? 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 They got Mexicans in the Magnola verse. <laughs> was she like why is it so why is it so boring I don't get it <laughs> that's how my wife would be looking at Mignola I don't get it where's all the stuff <laughs> Mike was BSing all this. This tech for real. It looks cool though. A good tech BSer is hard to find. No nah, man, that's one of them canisters, right? <laughs> yeah man my, my wife is like like my favorite dude is Jaime and my wife is just always like I don't get it <laughs> Where where's all the why do you like this Yeah, Magnola always cuts off the feet. Now, my wife uh, is in Los Angeles right now. Wife and daughter. So I am doing this out of boredom. And this is my girls. No, I did not get it. I did not get the Jaime Artist Edition. Um, the joint was like 100, 160 bucks. And as much as I love Jaime, uh, it was not it was not a well designed book. Uh, it's like you know how artist editions like you open them up and it's like you're just looking at a full page. Of art on the Jaime one it's like it's got this black frame on the page so the art's smaller and the black the, the pages are like glossy so like it takes fingerprints and stuff as soon as you touch it I was like I was disappointed so yeah unless I find that in the bargain bin I will not be getting the Jaime artist edition as much as that hurts to say but I did not like it What's it like to have your junk on fire, Johnny Storm?
yeah. I I was disappointed. I'm I'm glad I saw it before I ordered it. But I don't know. I mean, it was cool to see, of course. You know, he's great. But like, I don't know why they would make it glossy and put the like the the borders around it are like huge. It's like you're looking at a um like a Cintiq screen. It's like it's just black all around it. Jaime is my favorite. Well, it hurts me to say it. Yeah. Uh, quietly. Vince, are you are you in events like that? I met that dude in uh, at a Florida con. Man, he is super cool. Super good. He is really like some next level stuff. <laughs> do you, you feel like you're you're still like like on that like Frank quietly do you feel like or do you feel like it's just incorporated into what you do now do you have to like really pay attention to what he's doing <laughs> yeah, that's a prison tattoo for sure. <laughs> well, I miss Wolverine's um Turtle Bay thing right here.
Wolverine will get these pouches. The got an extra belt under his belt. He's double belting. I should have colored one of my other pictures. I'm kind of bored with coloring these patches, pouches. <laughs> This was before Magnolia stopped drawing anything round at all. Like these would look like little tops of stop signs nowadays, probably. Little octagons. I don't think he draws anything round anymore. Is Wolverine's IV drip? It's beer. Beer drip. I'll just leave it here. Well. Like when I'm done with this, done with flat, I'm gonna be so like tired of this image that I'm just gonna like throw grad on everything and be like, I'm done. Just kidding. I'm gonna try really hard. I'm gonna try color really good. <laughs>
think I'm gonna uh, stop for tonight on this. Maybe I'll come back to it. Maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know. It was fun. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Good night.